Welcome back, my friends, to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at some pressure gauges, and I'm gonna give you two examples of places where you can test the pressure on your system. Uh, the one I have here, this is a 100-pound pressure gauge, and it has a hose and threading thread, so you can put this right on a uh, spigot or a hose faucet coming off your house or a commercial building. Then we also have, just a little show and tell, a 30 pound regulator that has a needle on the end of it. There you can see it. And the needle can be punctured directly into drip tubing or some manufacturers of filters like Netafim have test ports directly on the filters going in and coming out. And you can just insert the needle in and check the pressure on the filter to see if the filter may need to be changed. Um, oh, I also have a 300 pound pressure gauge. This is not likely to be used in irrigation applications because really you don't need to know if the pressure is that high. You might see it on pump stations or other places just to see if there's you know, any, uh, any high pressure situations. So let's um, first start with the hose end adapter. I'm gonna play a video here for you so that you can see the uh, see the application in real life. So let me just show my screen and then we'll go ahead and play the video. And again, before you install an irrigation system, you want to check the static pressure at the home or at the commercial application or at the ball field to see what you have. And the static pressure could be different than the dynamic pressure, but we'll talk about that in another video. But your static pressure is a really good, uh, a really good place to start, and can tell you, you know, a lot about the um, availability of pressure before you get started to see if you need a booster pump. So the next thing we're going to look at is the Netafim gauge that has this needle tip on it. And that is used for inserting directly in a piece of dripper line. So I'm gonna see if we can make this work here. I'm going to attempt to puncture the drip tube. There we go. And by doing that, you can test the real-time pressure on a zone. Of course, you want that zone to be, to be running. And then when you remove this, you'll simply cut the tubing, put in a coupler, put the tube back together and you're all set. You can also repair this with a, uh, what's called a goof plug. It just simply plugs that hole. And every manufacturer of drip has a different minimum pressure rating. So it's oftentimes it may look like your dripper line is clogged. Maybe there's dirt in the emitter and you see no water coming out. And a majority of the time your emitters are actually not clogged. You just have a pressure problem on your system. And so using a gauge like this can really help you determine if you have a pressure problem on that zone. And again, you can take that pressure reading at different areas on the zone because it might be that up close to the valve you have enough pressure but if you've run too much uh, tubing too much length of tubing out there you may not have enough pressure at the end and so this pressure gauge with the needle tip is really helpful to test pressure at different points on your drip zone so i hope that helps kind of show some different gauges and what you can do with them and if you have any questions about how to design your system with pressure, if you need a booster pump, what's required, all of that, you can contact us by phone, chat, email, and text message. If you're watching this on sprinklersupplystore.com, and if you're watching this on YouTube, just drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to chat with you and catch up anytime. So until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.